Okay. So we're factoring. Everybody here has three terms, so we're going to do it with guess and check. And normally they don't like the sound of guess and check, but it's really no more guess and check than any other method. So, and it's pretty fast. So just take some practice. What we're going to do first is rig this 3x squared. The nicest way to make 3x squared is with a 3x and an x. And then we're going to rig the last term. I can make a 15 with a 3 and a 5. The only question is where to put them. I need to put them in such a way that my middle term will be a negative 4. So I'm thinking if I put the, uh, the 3 here and the 5 there, my middle terms will be a 9x and a 5x. So if I have a minus 9x plus a 5x, that'll give me a minus 4x in the middle, and that makes me happy. If you boil that out, it should be fine. We're going to do the same thing with the next one. I need to rig the first term so I can make a 5x squared with a 5x and an x. And I can rig an 18 with a 3 and a 6, maybe. And I'm thinking if I put the, no, oh, maybe. So if I put like a 3 there and a 6 there, I always put my signs in last. Um, I'm getting a 30 and a 3. And there's no way if I add or subtract 30 and 3 that I'm going to get a 1. And so even if I switch the order of them, a 15 and a 6, not going to give me a 1. So I need to think of another way to make an 18, maybe with a 9 and a 2. Ah, if I put the 2 there and the 9 there, that gives me 10x and 9x. So if it's a positive 10x minus a 9x, that gives me a 1x in the middle. So I've rigged the first, rigged the last, and then the middles are checking out. Um, cool. And we keep going. So I'm going to rig a 6x squared, possibly with a 3x and a 2x, just a guess. And then the 7, only one way to make a 7 with a 7 and a 1. So maybe if I put the 7 there and the 1 there, you get a 21x and a 2x. Yes, if they're both positive, 21x plus 2x gives me 23x in the middle. Perfect. We like it. And it just takes practice. Um, I wasn't this fast when I started, so... Just takes practice. Um, this guy here, gonna rig the 9a squared maybe with a 3a and a 3a. Gonna rig the 8 maybe with a 4 and a 2. So if I put a 4 and a 2 and I check the middles, I've got 12a and 6a. That's gonna work. If I have a positive 12a minus a 6a, that'll give me a 6a in the middle. And you always want to make sure that you're not cheating with these signs. I put them in at the end, but I have to make sure that I am getting a negative 8 at the end. That's a negative 2 and a positive 4 to give me a negative 8. If this had been a plus 8, I would have been in trouble. I don't know if I could have done that one. It might have been prime. So you always just have to check to make sure the negative 2 times the 4 give me a negative 8. The 5 times the negative 3 give me a negative 15. A negative 9 times the 2 give me a negative 18. And the 1 times the 7 give me a 7, so we're good. This guy here, it he, he gets tougher when there are a lot of possibilities for the t to factor. These are kind of rigged. I mean, there's really only one what, nice way to make a 3x and a 5x. And, um, and a lot of times the problems are rigged that you luck out pretty quickly. Um, but sometimes you have to play a little bit longer. So let's see what we can do with this. Um, maybe I can make a 12x squared with a 4x and a 3x, and a 20 possibly with a 5 and a 4. So if I check this, I'm getting 20 and 12, almost 31, but it's 32. What if I switch those, 4 and a 5, that's 16 and 15. Oh, we lucked out. So if I make those both positive, that'll give me 16x plus 15x, 31x in the middle, positive 5 times positive 4 gives me 20, and I've already rigged the 12x squared in the beginning. It's all checking out. Uh, this guy here, I can make a 24x squared with, hmm, looks like I have to get pretty big in the middle. So maybe... Uh, maybe a 24x and an x, right? And then if I make the 2 with a 2 and a 1, that'll give me a 
positive, or a 48 and a 1. So if I do a positive 48 minus a 1, that'll give me a 47. And a minus 1 times a positive 2 gives me a minus 1. So that checks out. And again, if you're not buying kind of the, buying it, you just, you can check anything with FOIL. Because factoring is foiling backwards. So if I took this last one that we did here, and I did um, the 24x times both of those, I get 24x squared plus 48x. And then he goes to everybody, minus x, minus 2. So there's the 24x squared that we rigged, the 47x that we checked, and the minus 2 at the end. Everything works. We are happy. What's that?